the topic of this module is titled as Yanras. Yanras has come from French and it means kind or type. Any type of communication in any mode, written, spoken, digital, visual, that is done by following certain social norms. That is called Yanras. And most commonly, the kinds of text, oral and written, is called Yanras. This topic is in fact related with our previous module on frames. In frames, we said that speech events have a structure, a sequence. If we add something more to that sequence, it would become Yanras. Let's see that. Speech events use Yanras. Yanras are text types. They can be oral, like interview, speech, lecture. They can be written, novel, short story, editorial. They can be digital, like tweets, etc. Every genre has typical content. We know editorial would have editor's point of view on some very important issue, that is its content. Then editorial has some structure, sequence, frame. And thirdly, editorial language would be different from other parts of the newspaper. It would be different, for example, from a news report, from a sport news. So, when we combine these three things, content, information, structure, and language that is typically used in a text, so we call it genre. For example, for more examples, let's see. The content of a story is events. In a story, we have events. It has beginning, now this is its structure, middle, end. It is told in past tense. There are contractions, there are dialogues. So all these are language features which are typically part of a story. So story is a genre. The choice of language, that is also called style. It is conscious always definitely to meet our purpose, keeping in view our audience, who will be our reader, who will be our listener. So we choose language accordingly. So this choice of language is restricted by the aims of the storyteller, as I have told you. Whether we want to entertain, whether we want to explain, whether we want to describe something, and expectations of the listener or audience. Audience, this term is used both for our reader and listener. So, what are his or her expectations? He, her, his or her expectations can be that in this text, because this is editorial, I would get information, I would get editor's opinion, his or her reflections on certain current burning issue. This is his or her expectations. So keeping in view aims and expectations, you, you would make choice of your language in a genre. Author's ideology. Second thing, affects what he or she says and how says it. And if you talk about gender ideology, definitely what you will say and how you will present it, that would also be affected. Every culture has specific genres. Women, for example, if we talk about women mourning, especially their lamentations, when they weep, when they wail, for example, on funerals, especially, so that is lamentations. So they are very common in Indian and Pakistani culture, but they are rare, rather they are almost absent from European culture. So lamentation is a genre. 
तो यनराज आर ऑल्सो कल्चर स्पेसिफिक यनराज आर इन्फ्लुएंस बाई आइडियोलॉजी चॉइस ऑफ लैंग्वेज इन यनरा इज इन्फ्लुएंस बाई एम्स एंड एक्सपेक्टेशन तो दीज आर दिंग्स विच आर रिलेटेड विद यनरा विच कैन हेल्प अस टू अंडरस्टैंड यनरा सेम यनरा कैन कम इन डिफरेंट इवेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल somebody introduces some topic especially uh, you see in ramzan telecast these days when they start intro they present some story that may be even personal short story same thing we see in panel discussion a panelist may uh, use some story personal or otherwise he she has read somewhere to support his her argument so again in argument you have story in introduction you have story in speeches most speakers take support of anecdotes folklores and uh, stories etc yanras are not equally available to men and women in speech events this is where you can see it from the lens of gender women cannot use for example dirty jokes in public men cannot sing merry songs this is not available to them most novelists are women and uh, what about men men go for poetry and dramas so some genres are dominated by men and some by women because they are available on the basis of gender even the value of yanras is gender which yanra is important which is less important so it depends on whose yanra is it novel for example is considered less demanding than poetry and play writing this is uh, this is considered as less intellectual activity and uh, those who think that women are less intellectual than men they, they say that they are for women now we can conclude that speech events they are related with situations situations are related with genres and genres are are maybe related with gender